Okay, my friends, this is muscle and tendon, and so is that. Now, that has different colors to it, and the colors are from transition metals. Transition metals are in the blood. Now, this is, see these little spots here we're going to show? This is muscle. Now, this could have been near the heart or wherever, because whenever you got a lot of blood, you've got a lot of transition metals, and let's see if I can prove that. Okay, don't forget now, let's just look at the patterns. And they snap off in like little blocks. And these, those are called um, sarcomeres. Okay, there's different types of muscle. Now, I believe that was the cardiac muscle because of the colors. And, I, and you say, well, why because of the colors? I say because of the blood. Blood would be in the cardiac area much more than it would be in the skeletal tissues. Um, but they all have these basic little sarcomere divisions that break on those planes. These break in bigger sections. I, I think, pretty sure that it's a cardiac muscle. Now, obviously, it's an enormous giant creature, whatever it was. But these are the colors you see. These different hues and colors would be in there. This is a heart. This is, a, I believe, it's a human heart. And you can see the tissue takes on a specific color due to the chemistry of that specific tissue. And these are all the different colors. See all these different colors in here? That's in your blood, but it's in your blood because they float around in your blood, and they are the little metal, they call them ligands, and they attach to molecules to bring them around your body and deliver them. It's very elegant. Um, the uh, transition metals, they're right in the center of the periodic chart, and they can grab them up here, they can grab them over here, all kinds of attachments, and that's what carries things around your body. Uh, and I'm starting to think that it might be that the bacteria is not able to create the right exact specific chemistry which puts a, a molecule of metal which we don't even know exists. but. I saw uh, the Rainbow River in, uh, I think it's Columbia, and it had all of these different specific colors, and I'll show it to you in a minute, similar to this. And the reason is because it's an intestine, and in the intestine you have all of these different bacteria growing. And when I say they grow, they grow in blood, just like this. This is a noto. And that is where the bone came down in the back. That's where the blood is. And they love moss and lichen and all that grows. And this is a no-to. You know, so, oh, no, 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 it's not. Yes, it is. And so is that one right there. Now, it's a different style. There was all different style feet. And uh, Tish has them coming out of her ears. And I mean unbelievable stuff. And I have them too. I have a whole batch of different styles. It, it, it was an amazing time on earth. I have no explanation for some of these things other than the material evidence that I present. That's what I do. I am a material evidence presenter. Does it support what was written in the ancient text? Yes, it absolutely does in a lot of cases. Almost all of them, actually. All right, you see all these different colors? That's different bacteria. They say, oh, that's different algae. Well, it's bacteria that is creating the colors. And all of these specific colors are just so exotic and just all kinds of different chemistry here. And this is an intestine. This is an intestine that is now got its bacteria creating what we see as colors. Now that's supposed to be in your body too. And if you didn't have the one that made this color right here, you would be sick. This would be a sick area. All right? And you would be invaded in that area. And you would get gut leakage in that area or or you wouldn't be able to absorb what you needed. And and it is that specific in your body. And I'm starting to think now that it's the actual molecules that well, that's a whole other issue. We'll get back to that later. But this is, um, this is the chemistry of the body, and this is what's going on inside of these tissues. They create different bacteria that has different jobs to do in the body. 
All right, and as you saw, all those different colors in the opals and so forth relate to these colors, which are the transition metals, and they are, as you saw, in the blood. They just is saturated with them. So um, they're absolutely required, and I'm now beginning to think it's the, um, the bacteria that's creating the enzymes that actually makes these transition metals available. I could be wrong. I could be right. But I'm going to tell you one thing, there's not just a handful of metals, there's probably 30,000 different, uh, different forms of metals that your body can use. Our, our chemists are not able to work with these things. They're, they're too, too complex. The bacteria are much better chemists. <laughs>